It's one of the greatest moments in any wrestler's career. Whenever a superstar talks of their career highlights, a return to the industry due to a forced or willing absence is usually a standard moment they will mention fondly. Returns can take many forms. The shock appearance out of nowhere, the dramatic unveiling by Vince McMahon, and our personal favourite, the emotional return from injury. Hello my friend, we meet again. It's been a while since you were wrestling. Feels like forever. Okay, that's quite enough of that. As well as being a highlight for the wrestlers themselves, when a returning star's music hits, it's a talking point for any fan, and if timed correctly, can be a moment which brings goosebumps to the surface of your skin. Before we begin our list, there's one important rule to remember. Never say never. As unthinkable as a return might seem, we've seen the impossible happen in the past. Brock Lesnar came back, Ultimate Warrior came back, Bret Hart came back, he came back and hugged Shawn Michaels. But yes, in summary, returns are often brilliant. We yearn for the next big one, for the goosebumps, the drinking games, and the chance to chant about religious fecal matter. I'm Adam Pacisi from Cultaholic.com, and these are 10 huge wrestling returns that could still happen. Join us! Number 10, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus was a top of the bill performer long before the women ever topped the bills of WWE. Considering how successful she became in the male-dominated Attitude Era, it's scary to imagine the amount of accolades Trish would have achieved in the era of the women's evolution. Although she has made some sporadic returns since her retirement, we haven't been treated to full Stratus faction for many a year. Perhaps it's time for Trish to return and work a full program to pass the torch to the new generation. And who better for the woman who stood out amongst men to battle with than the man who stands out amongst the women. Is now the time for Trish Stratus to take on Becky Lynch? We can only hope. Number 9, Shawn Michaels. If this list was created just one year ago, a Shawn Michaels return could have garnered one of the top spots. However, following Crown Jewel, the only Shawn Michaels return the majority of fans want is his hair. But this is the showstopper we're talking about. On that infamous night in Saudi Arabia, the Heartbreak Kid was paired with a one-armed Triple H against a mayor and a semi-retired dead man. Surely Michaels could find his form against a superstar closer to their prime age, who may be able to make up for the lack of youthful exuberance on display from Mr. WrestleMania. We're not saying we even want this, because HBK's original retirement match was just so perfect, but let's just wipe Crown Jewel from all of our collective memories and rebook it on the fly. One more match, HBK taking on his own protege and a graduate of Michaels Wrestling School. I can see it now, the greatest WrestleMania live from Saudi Arabia, Shawn Michaels versus Brian Kendrick. Maybe? Number 8, Jason Jordan. Prior to Jason Jordan's injury in 2018, there was perhaps nobody on the Raw roster who drew more annoyance from the audience than Kurt Angle's bastard son. With what appeared to be the beginnings of a story which would see Jordan turn on his father and newfound tag partner Seth Rollins, there seemed to be some hope that the crowd may be able to boo Jordan as frequently and viciously as they pleased. With hindsight being 2020, it would appear that Jason Jordan could have been a prime suspect to retire his father at this year's WrestleMania. Updates about Jordan's health have been ominously sparse, however, it has been reported that the former American Alpha has been part of creative meetings in recent months, as well as training as a backstage producer. In an ideal world, we'd love to see Jordan return, but if he were to come back, we'd really like to see him taken seriously. His excellent amateur wrestling credentials were often overshadowed because, well, he was paired with an even better amateur wrestler. But there's no reason Jordan couldn't have shone on his own. If he returned, we'd love to see what he could do with a more intense, legit legitimate character. That means no more throwing vegetables at Elias, okay? Number 7, The Shield. Okay, okay, I know, no, I know. Prior to Dean Ambrose's departure from WWE, The Shield were given more goodbyes than your gran over the phone. But there was a reason for this. The Shield were probably the hottest act to come out of WWE in the past five years. The group spawned three bona fide main event players for years to come who now look set to dominate Raw, SmackDown, and AEW, respectively. The wrestling world is probably not screaming for a fourth Shield reunion in two years, but maybe in a not too distant future. Future, well, who knows? The only question is, will that be as AEW grow into a pro wrestling powerhouse or as John Moxley tucks his tail between his legs and returns to the all-conquering WWE? I know which one I'm hoping for. 
Number 6. Lita Since women were invented in 2015 by WWE, they have turned to some of their former divas to return and battle modern day superstars. Lita has returned a handful of times to the ring since her retirement, but never for a full run in a singles capacity. Each time Lita has got back in the ring, she has shown that she has much left to offer and still provides a nice change of pace and an alternative look and work style to the modern female WWE presentation. If she chose to, you have to believe that Lita could have a solid return to the top of the card in the WWE. Her wonderful ability to play both heel and babyface could see her help elevate Bayley on SmackDown or provide effective foil to Charlotte Flair. Lita would be a welcome addition to the WWE or perhaps even elsewhere. Number 5. The Rock Since The Rock's return in 2011, some of the shine of his character has left. No longer is he clambered for as the second coming of the Attitude Era, but still the idea of a returning Rock for one final run and match is an enticing one. There are still many dream matches for the Brahma Bull should he ever return to the WWE. The first instinct would be to pitch him against Roman Reigns in a Cousins Collide Chaotic Clash. However, just think of the other possibilities. Great One versus Phenomenal One. People's Champ versus Planet's Champ. Or maybe even the most electrifying man versus the man's man. That's Seth Rollins, by the way, not William Regal. And before I say this, let's be clear. I'm not trying to be mean to Dwayne the Brahma Bull the Rock Johnson, but it would be nice to see him actually lose against some of those current stars. Yes, he lost to Cena at WrestleMania 29, but the memory of him ending CM Punk's epic title reign still leaves a very bitter taste in the mouth. Number 4. Kings of Wrestling The names Claudio Castanoli and Chris Hero may not have ever been heard in WWE, but that doesn't mean that a Kings of Wrestling reunion would not be money. The two superstars briefly reunited at an NXT dark show in 2018 and set the internet wrestling community alight. With Cesaro's partnership with Sheamus now at an end and a singles push maybe not being likely, perhaps it's time for Cassius Ono to make his long-awaited main roster debut as a partner for the Swiss Superman. Both super stars seem set to become elder statesmen of their respective brands to help newer talent become equipped to the styles of NXT and WWE. But these two have so much to offer, and with tag team wrestling being cool once again, perhaps the top guys, the Profits, and the New Day met the Kings. Number 3. Ronda Rousey you can try and pretend otherwise. You can close your eyes and scream Becky Lynch, Amanda Nunes, and Holly Holm all you want, but there is an undeniable fact that Ronda Rousey is still the biggest name in female combat sports worldwide. And she's a pretty damn good professional wrestler to boot. Rousey is currently on a hiatus, making what will probably be the world's toughest babies with UFC heavyweight Travis Brown, but once she's spent a few years dealing with crying toddlers and dirty protests, she may feel experienced enough to spend some time around wrestling fans once again. Rousey's love for the business is unquestionable, and seeing an MMA or judo return seems unlikely, it would appear that pro wrestling will be her homecoming when the time comes. And there's still that controversial pin at WrestleMania to address. Ronda. Number 2. AJ Lee as much as WWE may want to rewrite history to state the women's revolution began when the four horsewomen began to steal the show in NXT, the undisputed fact is that a series of tweets from AJ Lee calling out Stephanie McMahon in 2015 was the catalyst for the hashtag Give Divas a Chance movement, which preempted WWE's evolution talk by many months. Through Lee's run, she showed a brilliant grasp for the business as she played both heel and face to perfection, which culminated in her being given the role of Raw GM on the Red Brand's historic 1000th episode. In recent times, AJ Lee has spoken warmly of her former career and has refused to rule out a return. And quite frankly, we can see no reason why she shouldn't come back. Unless, number one, CM Punk. It had to be, didn't it? Sorry, sorry. Since CM Punk walked out of the pro wrestling world in January 2014, many fans have awaited his return. In the years since his last official appearance, the Straight Edge Savior has made a secret appearance under a mask at an independent show, whilst also trying his hand as an MMA fighter. More recently, Punk has turned to MMA commentary, but still his wrestling return is hoped for by many. The former WWE champion has remained steady steadfast on his refusal to be drawn into any talk about returning to the company he left over five years ago. However, in recent years, especially in the run-up to his second MMA bout, Punk has spoken with a tad more reverence for his former career. And although a return to WWE seems out of the question, perhaps now there's a legitimate second company in the US, maybe, just maybe, CM Punk can become All Elite. But probably not.
Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. You can follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cultaholic. If you enjoy what we do here at Cultaholic, you can pledge to us on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.